Hey guys, Albertina here, and today I am joined by my assistant, Natalia, and we are from the Virgin Hair Boutique CC. So we've been getting a lot of questions lately. You guys have been asking us a lot of questions with regards to the different textures that we saw. So many inquiries or requests of different textures and some of them we don't even really sell. So I thought, why not do a video to familiarize you guys, our customers, with the different textures that we sell. The most common texture on the market is Brazilian hair straight. This is also the most purchased of our textures. Um, this is the Brazilian straight in 26 inches. It's pure straight. Now this hair remains straight even after a really, really good wash. But you can curl it using either a flat iron or a curling wand and it takes curls very, very nicely. It holds up very well. So this is Brazilian straight. All this hair that I'll be showcasing today is from our virgin hair collection, virgin hair, Brazilian hair. This is the straight. And then we've got virgin Brazilian hair natural waves. This is our natural waves. We also have a different type of wavy. Um, this one, this is called loose wavy. It's also, both of these are wavy, but this is loose waves and then this is natural waves. Now both of these textures can become straight after a really good blow dry, or if, even if you just decide to decide to flat iron the hair, it gets really, really, really straight. And then also after a good wash, it does go back to the original waves. So it does go back to its original texture after a good wash. Another very, very popular texture is the Virgin Brazilian Hair Deep Waves. Now these are the deep waves. It looks a lot like curly, but it's not curls because it's much more looser in terms of the curl pattern. As you can see, it um, looks like loose these are loose curls but we call it deep waves virgin brazilian hair in deep waves now this hair can also straighten after a really really good blow dry or after, or you're using a really really good flat iron but it also goes back to its original texture after a very good wash um, the other texture that we have is the virgin brazilian hair deep curls now these are the deep curls you can already see the difference between this and the other previous texture that i showed these are tighter in terms of the curl pattern they're very tight i don't advise you to i do not advise you to blow dry this hair or to try and straighten them they can become totally straight because obviously it's pure virgin hair but they're gonna look like sort of like a kinky straight it's gonna look it's gonna look very kinky in terms of the texture so my advice is not to try and blow dry them I mean to try and straighten them if you want something that can also go straight either go for the wavy or the deep waves or just the normal straight now the last but not the least is the Brazilian hair kinky straight. Now the kinky straight is fairly new on the market. So this is how it looks like. This is exactly how it looks like. It's fairly new on the market. I think we are one of the few, if not the only shop that actually sells um, this texture. Now this hair is made to look, feel, and just it's made <laughs> to look and feel like your own natural hair, like African ethnic hair. It blends in quite well with your own hair. So if you decide to weave in this hair, you don't need to relax your hair to try and blend. It will blend in perfectly well. And the good thing is you can also flat iron this hair to get it pure straight. But even after it gets straight hair, it does not get as straight as the virgin Brazilian hair straight. It doesn't give you the silky straight. It gives you a very natural, natural looking straight so yes this is the brazilian kinky you can flat iron it you can curl it you can um, you can color it you can do absolutely anything to it so yeah those are the different textures that we saw we said that we've got the straight we've got the straight we've got the wavies we got deep wave we've got deep waves over here and then we've got deep curls. And then we've got the kinky straight. Those are five different textures. Those are the only textures that we saw. You know, it doesn't make sense for me, for us, for you guys to spend so much money to invest in really, really good quality hair and you not investing in the right kind of products to use on your hair. Because the whole purpose of you buying a wave is for it to last you a long time, a very, very long time. Now, if you don't use the right kind of products 
it defeats the whole purpose. As much as that hair is the best quality or it's really good or it was expensive, you still really need to take care of it for it to last you for a very long time. Now what you need to make sure is that you use products that are sulfate free. Now when we talk about sulfate free products, these are those products that are free from salt and gluten because naturally salt is what dries out your hair. And if you use products that have a lot of salt, they're gonna dry out your hair and this is what causes shedding. So invest in products that are sulfate free. Now we've got our own range of hair care. This is called the VHB Argan Oil hair care range of products. We've got shampoos, we've got conditioners, we've got hair treatments, we've got curl activators. Now it's very now it's really really important that you take the time to actually take care of your weave. Uh, make sure that you wash your weave, your hair, your wig, your weave, or whatever, at least once a week. Use a sulfate free shampoo, rinse it out, use the conditioner, leave it in for a few minutes. We've got the argan oil shampoo. Um, this is the argan oil shampoo. We've got also the argan oil conditioner. After conditioning the hair, leave it in, let's say, for 10 or 15 minutes, rinse it out. And then, you know, you go to the salon, you let the hair air dry, go to the salon, do your weave, and then you only apply the silicone. This is not silicone, sorry, this is the VHB Argan Oil. This is Argan Oil, but we also have a silicone serum. Both of this you can use on your extensions or your own natural hair, but I do recommend this one because it really just infuses in the hair and leaves the hair looking really soft and moisturized. And if you feel that you've colored your hair or you've stayed with your hair for a very long time, they're looking brittle, you're feeling dry, this is when you do a deep treatment. So when you, you wash your hair with the shampoo, Leave out the conditioner, use a deep treatment rather. This will treat your hair and then also alleviate all the split ends and all of that. Again, use the argan oil afterwards. If you are purchasing curly hair or deep waves and you don't want the whole bushy look like this one, it's just got curly hair brushed out. There are a lot of people who are into this kind of look, but then there are those people who are not really into this kind of look. You really just want your curls to be soft and tamed. This is when you use a curl activator. Now the curl activator, the purpose of the curl activator is really just to activate your curls. But you only need to use it on hair that is already curly. So it needs to be either deep curls or deep waves. It cannot turn straight hair into curly hair as most of you ask. It can't do that, but it can tame your curls. Your hair originally needs to be curly, but it can tame it. And it really just gives you that flowy type of nice looking curls. If, if you're not really into the whole bushy thing. So it activates, defines, and tames your curls. Activates, defines, and tames your curls. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Till next time.